last year, leading Danish player Morten Holm had a great idea. He put together a team consisting of himself and seven other leading Danish players and played them against the best eight players from the rest of the world. He got together hundreds of thousands of euros to back his team and the team managed to win the tournament and the money. This year the event's being repeated with some of the existing team and some new members too. Morten, obviously a massive success for the Danish team last year. What's your team looking like this year? Besides Gus, uh, it was the same. I was a bit worried, but I'm actually quite happy with how everybody's performed. Do you think the Danes are suffering from a lack of Gus? Yeah, of course, not having him on the, on the team it hurts them. Do you think you're doing a good job as captain? Um, well, uh, I don't even know who the captain is. Falafel. It's, it is Falafel, okay. Well, you know, uh, <laughs> they should be happy that they had the event last year and got all the preparation done. So. What do you think your chances of winning the whole event are? 60% or so, give or take. But should Mochi win this one, and if we should win the last match tonight, then we'll be really in cruise control. You're actually losing at the moment this year. Um, what do you think your um, percent of chances of winning are from here, winning the whole uh, competition? Well, I don't know. Did he tie it up? I don't know. Oh, yeah, he did. So, uh, 35 now, something like that. These, these two matches playing right now, first one, Matt Mochi and our new guy, Muir, playing against Michi will uh, very important. If we lose both, then we lost, and it's pretty much, you know. The world team are currently leading by 23 points to 18. Behind me you can see the last event before the final, which is heads up play. The Danish team are actually fielding a substitution today. Their player Mark Olsen is ill and Mads Andersen is taking his place. The format of the final means that teams can only win by stealing points from the other team. So if the world can win this event, they'll have a great advantage going into the final and maybe they can even win it.